The next confession is strictly for the people above the age of 18. All viewers below the age are advised not to watch or listen. I am a porn actor for years. I managed to move to my desired country because of that hassle. I made millions of dollars. You see us naked on camera. Some of you admire us, but you won't believe what we'll be doing at the background. There is a lot of dirty work we do behind scenes. A lot of demons are being chased away at churches, and we find it very easy for them to find new destinations when we act. Most of our demons work with master bear and addiction. The result will be your inner soul to surrender itself to Christ. Hello viewers, welcome once again to another educative episode of African Confessions HD. I'm right here on Extraordinary Africa. My name is Solution Uncle Ifestinio. In this show, we publish lifetime confessions. Usually, we publish anonymously for their own safety reasons. Ladies and gentlemen, if you feel you do have a story you want to share with the world, here is the free platform for you. We do it for free anonymously here, right here on Extraordinary Africa. If you feel you want to share your story with the world, don't be shy, don't be afraid. It's for free here. Our number is plus 263-775-597-775. Plus two six three seven seven five five nine seven 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 five. It's WhatsApp only. Or you can contact our PR Fidel at his Gmail account, fidelgosh at gmail dot com. F I D E L G O C H at gmail dot com. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. We are here for you to have that peace of mind for you to give those advices. I joined this porn film company when I was a child. I was born in Nigeria and last saw my parents about half years ago. Recently, I heard from someone who recently came from the village that they are both late. What happened is that I was at a boarding school during days of the so popular Boko Haram raided girls at another school. I was at another boarding school, not feeling well. The school's master gave me a pass to go home so I can be treated. I went home. On my way home, the car broke down on our way. We waited for another bus to come and pick us from that point, but there was no a bus. It was almost 8 o'clock. In the night, a car came from nowhere. They pointed guns at everyone who was there. They took away every girl child who was at that point and every young lady. We were taken to this center. We don't know what was happening, but it seems as if we were now in Cameroon. Whilst we were still in Nigeria, they injected pills into us. We didn't know what was happening from that point. But I can remember it is like we were in Cameroon in a forest. In that forest, they checked if we were all virgins. Those who were not virgins were killed at that point. We flied with something like a helicopter, went to Dubai in the United Emirates. We came to this point. We started staying with a lot of girls from some of the African countries who were being kidnapped. Some were kidnapped in the countries such as Jamaica and those developing countries. We started staying there and we were grouped. I was one of the people who were to go to United States of America. I went to United States of America. They, what they did is that they wanted to sell our virginity. At that point, we went to this point, there was this man. It was like he paid for to break my virginity in front of a camera. That was my first porn video. I was bragged in front of the camera. It was so painful. I missed my parents. From that point, I was no longer a virgin. They took me back 
to this Asian country, I don't recall. It was now like we're going to the training center. We started eating food mixed with something like charms so that we can forget about where we came from. At that time, I became like an animal. I didn't care about even if someone died in, died in front of me, I would just smile. I was no longer thinking like a human being. They trained us. We could sleep with men, over 10 men per day. That was the training. It was like that for almost six months. After six months, we were taken by this man who was looking like a marine goddess. A marine god who went with the men to this pool in this country. Don't recall the actual place in the actual country, but I think it's in Asia because of the type of people who were seeing in that small village. That day we went to the pool. We entered into the pool. I don't know how, but I recall very well we entered into the pool because I didn't know what was happening. For more than 40 days, we were under the sea with this goddess. I don't understand that type of a human being. He's like a man. He's like a female. He's like an animal. I have never seen such a person. That's where we started to be taught how to inject demons on the people. If you look closely at the camera, the demon in me might come to you and we were taught everything about all these XX movies and why they are being published. We stayed there. I don't recall very well what was happening. It was like we were being used, we were being we drank a lot of things under the water. After that period we went out and moved back to the United States of America. In the United States of America I joined this company. I am paid a lot of money weekly. I am paid a lot of money. And now we know the purpose, and how it is to be a point actor. When we are acting, there are demons which are being chased away at churches by people who are praying. At different places, demons are chased away. So the evil one decided to find another means to quickly find new destinations for these demons of him. That's Lucifer's plan against humanity. And this is why he introduced this point. He knows you will be addicted. You try to pray, but you will be addicted. So the only thing to bring back that demon you don't like is to introduce that type of videos. When we are acting, we manage to make... A lot of people possessed. It's like I was looking at my record when we went to the conference of point actors who associated with our goddess. I managed to turn over a million people. They are with the demons because of me. The demon will bring bad luck. This is the main purpose we act to bring bad luck because. When you are watching those movies of us, you end up masturbating. And masturbating is one of the easiest things. It brings bad luck. There is a demon which dwells in the sea, which is called Alange. Alange is the senior of bad luck. When Alange is in you, any type of Alange is in you, you won't be a, a successful person. If you are doing a degree program, you won't finish. If you are at work, you won't build something. You won't invest. You will be a liking to, to use that man doing senseless things. And this is why we are here. The strategy of the evil one worked. 
a lot of people lost their destinies because of this thing. And this is what we do behind. Before acting, I will be like a snake eating blood, feeding on frogs, so that the demon can be stronger when it comes out of me, when you are watching on TV, when you are watching on your cell phone. That's why you see it's related to the evil. I don't know, but I believe the cult is the one who killed my parents because the person who recently came from the village told me that even none of my siblings is still alive. And now I'm feeling like I'm being used and I need to change. I tried to go to this pastor. The pastor died, died the following week. I went to another in Nigeria. I visited Nigeria and went to another prophet. The prophet died within a short period of months. It's now affecting me. Can I be cleansed and become a normal person? I'm even ready to surrender all their mansions, cars, because I have businesses in the United States of America. I have business in Canada. I have businesses in all those countries you admire just because of this acting. But that's what we do at the background. Beware. Desist from watching all these movies. And it's very easy not to watch. If you are addicted, it's very easy not to watch our movies. You just need to relocate from the place you are staying to another place for almost six months. Start praying there because Kalanchi, that demon, doesn't like to walk away. It will remain around your bed. So if you, remo you move to another place, then come back later. In a period of almost six months, it will be over. And this how a lot of people manage to run away from us. Please publish my story. I feel I need to share with the world because I offended. I offended my parents. It wasn't my fault, but I am feeling guilty for what I have done. A lot of people are lost their destinies because of me and my workmates. The next confession is strictly for the people above the age of 18. All viewers below the age are advised not to watch or listen. Please hide my identity. I am not looking to connect with anyone just an answer to a question. I am 23 years and very sexually active. I don't do walk up, but men give me money for sex. I've always wanted to try with someone I meet, especially if I'm attracted to the person. I don't know my body count. Too many counts. Since 15 years, I went for a church program and I was told I had a spirit of lust which needed to be delivered. I did what I was told, which is to fast for three days. Then they later prayed for me, of which I manifested and was later delivered. But I think it has gotten worse to the point that I am feeling for random guys who were not my type. I still go to church, but I have slept with many of young pastors. Even some of those who were part of the team that delivered me, Men are married. I don't feel any regret because I never forced them. But did God create some people to come and tempt others? Because that's what one of the pastors who sleeps with me told me. He said, Judas was created to betray Jesus. So God created people like me to be the downfall of pastors. Because he can't resist me and he has done everything in his power. I have really been thinking about this because apart from sex, my life has no meaning. I dropped out of tertiary because of my lifestyle. There will be exams and I will be somewhere with a man on top of me. I just need clarity on this. Yellow Solution Uncle, please publish this one for me. I am struggling because I don't know what to do. I have been dating my man for four years. You went to Namibia to finish his course you are supposed to do work related learning in a foreign country 
the final year he went there, there is this guy I started flirting with. We have been using contraceptives, using contraceptives, but at the end he ended up bursting one of the contraceptives and impregnated me. I am feeling like I am one month pregnant and my guy is about to return into the country. We have planned to get married. All over these years, we were doing the preparations. Last week, I went and checked the prices of the garments and the suit we should be wearing on our wedding day. And I'm feeling it's just few days before being interrupted with this thing I've done. I am feeling if I'm pregnant, is it bad to abort the pregnant? Because the guy who impregnated me, I don't love him. It was just fleeting. But he loves me a lot. And he said he never cheated on me. I never disclosed to him that I have this main guy who is out of the country. And he is such a good person. In fact, the person who I want to marry me cheated on me several times, but I managed to forgive him because I love him. Now I am thinking to abort the pregnant so that I can go to this guy I love because this baby dead of my pregnant, I don't love him. I don't want to lie. He's so poor. His background, everything, so dirty most of the time. But he loves me, but I don't love him. I love that boyfriend of mine who is out of the country. What's your advice to me?